Hi, welcome to a day in the life of a Duke Nephrology Fellow. My name is Raquel Holmes. I'm one of the second year fellows. We wanna give you a taste of what life is like in Durham and Duke. I just woke up, it's about 6 a.m. and I'm feeling pretty refreshed this morning since I got a full night of sleep. We don't have call here, which means no nighttime pages. Before I leave, I spend some time with my husband and son and review charts on my phone. I'm on the transplant service right now, where we round with an entourage, including surgeons, pharmacists, social work, and coordinators. I then head out and try to be at work around seven or so. The drive to work is about 20 minutes door to door for me. There is no traffic, and I can usually grab a coffee along the way. Oh, hey, look, it's Alex. Hi, I'm Alexandra Grand. I'm on the acute ICU service. The acute ICU service is an interprofessional team our physician assistant, John, manages the cardiothoracic surgical ICU, and I manage the medical, surgical, neuro, and cardiac ICUs. While my attending rounds with our PA in the cardiothoracic surgical ICU, I pre-round on my patients in the other four ICUs. Sometimes I have med students and residents with me as well. We do a lot of CRT. We have 32 machines and often have a majority of these in use. Currently, we are rolling out a QI project to improve our utilization of citrate and provide education to both nursing and fellows around this protocol. Oh, that's Rebecca. She's letting me know that she's sending in a patient from one of our outpatient dialysis units. Hello, my name is Rebecca Roof. As a second year fellow, we spend time caring for patients with ESRD in one of 11 local dialysis units that our faculty directs. This year, we're excited to be rolling out a new outpatient curriculum focusing on the importance of comprehensive ESRD care. As a clinical fellow, I have the opportunity to choose a clinical concentration as well as spend time working on a QI or research project. I'm focusing on home dialysis modalities. This is on top of the exposure everyone gets to home HD and PD in the second year with our program director, who is an expert in home dialysis. We see a lot of these patients in the hospital as well during our first year. In fact, Ray has one of my PD patients with peritonitis on the floor service right now. Hi, I'm Ray. I'm on the floor consult service right now. We typically care for around 20 consult patients with a wide variety of problems from simple AKI to glomerulonephritis as well as all of the hospitalized PD patients. Fortunately, the ICU and chronic HD patients are cared for by other fellows and APPs which gives me more time to think through the complex questions and problems that I see on the floor service. Here, there's a perfect balance between autonomy and support from the attendings. This is also the service where you will do most of your native kidney biopsies. Rounding time is pretty flexible on the floor, but on Wednesdays I usually try to get most of my work done before noon conference. Noon conference is great because I get to see all of my co-fellows and get some food in a low-key environment. We have these conferences around four times a week throughout the year, covering all the important topics. Hey, Anna. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm on the VA consult service right now, but since the VA is right across the street, I can still participate in all the conferences at Duke. Working at the VA gives you a more bread and butter nephrology experience, caring for all kinds of patients at once, including transplant, ESRD, ICU, and floor patients. With all that said, there's usually a lower census here. There's a great team here too, with dialysis nurses, APPs, social work, all working together every day for both inpatients and outpatients. I also enjoy the fellow workroom that has a window. Anika is here with me today, finishing up some of her VA clinic notes. Hi, I'm Anika, and I'm one of the third year research fellows. My research focus is on women's health and disparities in nephrology. I'm currently evaluating the impact of kidney function on adverse pregnancy outcomes and long-term kidney outcomes in pregnant women with this. This year, I was named a fellow in the American Kidney Fund's Clinical Sciences and Nephrology Program, which supports my research. During my first year fellowship, I met with different faculty members about potential projects. We are very fortunate to have strong mentorship at Duke. I meet with my primary mentor on a weekly basis, in addition to having a mentorship committee composed of a multidisciplinary group of both basic scientists and clinical researchers. My mentorship committee meets several times a year to provide feedback on current projects and career development. Duke also offers additional mentorship programs. I am participating in the Office of Physician Scientist Development, OPSD program, which provides me with additional one-to-one -one mentorship, as well as programs centered on professional development and grant funding. I have been nurtured both on a professional and personal level at Duke. 
Through the support of our fellowship program leadership, I served as an intern on ASN's Diversity and Inclusion Committee, working towards equity and inclusion. I'm currently pursuing a master's in health science as part of the clinical training and research program. I have taken classes on how to perform statistical analysis and study design, but most importantly, I'm able to apply what I've learned on a daily basis. I'm taking one now with Matt. Hi, I'm Matt Sinclair, one of the third year fellows, also on the research track. My focus is on clinical outcomes and dialysis dependent patients. One great thing about Duke is the ability to take classes in something called the Clinical Research Training Program, or CRTP. This program typically takes about two years to complete, is completely conducive to an upper-level fellow schedule, and leads to a master's degree in health sciences. During my first year in CRTP, I took some great introductory stats classes. Now, as I enter my second year of CRTP, I'm excited to tailor my schedule even more towards classes that will specifically help me in my clinical research career. It's amazing how many great class options there are, and I'm especially excited to take classes this semester on clinical trials and patient-reported outcomes. I'm also a fellow in the Duke Clinical Research Institute, or DCRI. This unique institute offers a two-year fellowship to fellows in nephrology, cardiology, and other specialties, offering research seminars, talks from guest speakers, and ample opportunities to collaborate with other fellows and faculty on clinical research projects. Hi, this is Alania. I'm currently on an outpatient block. First year fellows typically have three two-week blocks of outpatient immersion. This is an opportunity to spend time in various outpatient clinics like kidney stones, transplant, and vascular access. Your schedule can be tailored to your interests. Our journal clubs and grand rounds are scheduled during outpatient immersions so that we can have plenty of time to work on them. We also have time to meet potential mentors and most importantly, Weekends are off. I have my Duke Continuity Clinic this afternoon with Dr. Kovalik. We have a half-day clinic every week that alternates between the VA and Duke. At both places, we have our own patient panel and a consistent preceptor. Our patients definitely view us as their primary nephrologists. EJ is currently on the night floats. Let's see what she's up to tonight. Hello, I'm EJ Okereke. This week, I'm the night float fellow. I come in at 5 p.m. and cover all the services and any new consults that come in until 7 a.m. During this one to two week rotation, we usually get two nights off and those two nights are covered by an attending and a moonlighter, which by the way, the moonlighting is great because we can take advantage of that as second years. During the night flow, there's also an on-call attending that provides support whenever I need it. There is also often enough downtime to get a few hours of sleep as well. And this is great because it gives my co-fellows the opportunity to get home and get some uninterrupted rest, knowing that when I'm back on days in the next week, I'll be getting the same. Bye, Raquel. Thanks, EJ. Now that I've wrapped up my work here, I'm going to meet some of my co-fellows and their partners for dinner in downtown Durham. I've learned a lot about Durham this past year. Taking care of patients in the hospital, seeing them in clinic, and volunteering at the Lincoln Clinic has given me an appreciation for the diverse population we serve. We also try to enhance our care of our community by collaborating with our nephrologists in the Research Triangle through the National Kidney Foundation. There is so much to do in the Triangle area. You can watch a minor league baseball game, professional hockey, college basketball is huge, or take a day and visit the Sarah P. Duke Gardens. Durham is a few hours from the beach and the mountains, and the downtown scene is just so awesome. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Duke Nephro life. We work hard, we play hard, and we take care of each other. I hope to see you as a fellow at Duke next year. See you around.